What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We've got a great lineup of tutorials for you this week. Today we're going to be talking about Future Love You Better, a uh, new music video that came out. We got some really easy yet cool effects in here. Some premiere stuff like this jittering that we'll talk about. Uh, let me show you that there. We've got some particle effects. We've got some overlay things that we can do. So that's what's on the menu for today. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be recording a tutorial for this really awesome 3D laser pointer effect. I'm going to try and do this in After Effects, uh, Blender, and Cinema 4D while keeping it simple. So I'll show you how to create that and then I'm also going to upload a overlay pack. So instead of having to make it in your 3D software, you can just have a bunch of different ones that I create and drag and drop them into your footage if you choose to purchase the pack. I'll also probably toss in some freebies. So really cool. So that's what's coming up. Let's dive in here. We're going to start with Adobe Premiere and I'm going to first show you some little premiere tricks like this jitter effect. As always, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like. It goes a long way with the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below any video, anything that you'd like to see a breakdown for on this channel. Most of these videos are all comment recommendations. And of course, subscribe to stay up to date to all the content we are dropping weekly. By the way, if you're looking for any plugins, presets, extensions to save you time and create cool effects, my digital asset store is at the top of the description. And this is really simple. Just go ahead and find a spot that you'd like to jitter back and forth. So maybe Maybe whenever he moves his head here, go ahead and click Control K to make a cut and then go ahead and move forward one frame. So we'll click right on our arrow key like that and we'll also make a cut. And then we'll move one more frame over to the right and make a cut. Now all you need to do here is just grab this clip on the right and just give it a little bit of space. If you're not seeing these clips, uh, maybe you're zoomed out too much. It might be too hard to cut frame by frame. So you can click this bar and just go like this or control alt and mouse wheel to zoom into your timeline. Once you have these two clips, you wanna select them. You wanna hold down alt on your keyboard. And while holding down alt, you just wanna click and drag these frames over. We're essentially just copy and pasting those two frames back and forth. And then what you guys can do is just repeat that step. You can select all of them, hold down alt, click and drag. You can jitter as long as you want. And there you go, it gives you some quick little jitter back and forth pretty cool easy um, technique that you can do just to kind of emphasize or like loop a specific movement just within Premiere now next up is going to be pixel sorting now in the past we talked about using plugins to be able to achieve this effect because it doesn't natively come with After Effects but let me show you a quick and free little workaround so you don't need a plugin I will list some below in case you are interested if you have the Adobe Creative Cloud suite uh, you should have Adobe Photoshop and Photoshop does natively come with a pixel sort effect. We're gonna go into Photoshop. I'm gonna click open. Now, because this is a video, you wanna see this timeline. If you're not seeing that, you wanna to go to window and check on timeline here. It'll click, you can click create new video timeline. You'll be able to see this. You can also click these three little dots here and um, you can go to enable timeline shortcut keys. That should let you use the arrow keys to go frame by frame if you want. Find a spot where we'd like to pixel sort. So maybe like right about here. Go ahead and click the slider to zoom in a bit and we're going to just cut the part where we'd like to pixel sort so we'll cut like maybe a couple of frames here and this layer will be our pixel sorting layer so double click pixel sort now to do this with a video it's a bit different you want to start on your first frame of your sub clip here you want to go up to filter you want to go to stylize and you want to use the wind filter so what we can do is change the zoom, uh, maybe like 25% so we can actually see what's going on here. And you have three methods here, basically three presets for how it'll affect your image. You have wind, you have blast, and you have stagger. You can choose between those three, whichever you like best. You can choose direction left or right, which is cool. So go ahead and apply that onto your first frame. Now you see, once we move to the next frame, if I click to the right arrow, I'm just gonna go back to normal because we're only applying it frame by frame. But there is a little trick here where you can just go to the next frame by clicking your right arrow. You can go to the filter tab up here and you can just click to use the last applied filter. So you also see there's a shortcut here, Alt Control F. So because we want this to kind of go up in value, you don't want it just to be the same every single time. We can apply that twice. So apply wind twice and you see it'll kind of push it back a little bit more. And that way you can kind of fake animating it so that it gets more pixel sorted as you go along. It's a bit more work intensive, but again, it is a free workaround to pixel sort without an After Effects plugin. So I'll go to the next frame and again, what we can do is Alt Control F. I'll do it three times to apply it. Control F, 
alt control f alt control f and you see now if we were to play along it looks like we have this pixel sorting moving along in this animation style so you guys can just keep repeating that so i'll just go along we don't have that many frames so four times that time and then if you want it to kind of go back to normal you could start undoing steps so instead of doing six times on the next frame we could do four times so one two three four we could do three on the next one two three two on the next one two one on the next one and then just leave the last one normal so you'll have a little animation where it starts normal pixel sorts forward and then the pixel sorting goes away so again free little workaround and a cool effect that you can do within photoshop and also keep in mind here you can use this sort of frame by frame photoshop filter method with any of the filters in photoshop so not just the wind if you want to use any of these other crazy filters that you can do in Photoshop that you can't do in After Effects, you can use that frame by frame method to auto apply it and create little effect animation. So once you're done with this, all you need to do is go up to file, you go to export and you want to click render video. Under format here, you can do MOV QuickTime or MP4 H.264. That works, so I'll just keep everything the same. And we'll go ahead and click render. Then we'll drag that new rendered clip into Premiere or whatever video editing software you're using and check it out. Really cool, you get a really nice looking pixel sword out of there. And again, it's free. Next up is this awesome particle face effect. Ever since that Avengers Infinity War movie dropped, there's been a ton of tutorials that people have been making talking about particle disintegration. So there's a lot of information out there on doing this different ways. The way I did mine is pretty simple. I start off by rotoscoping my clip. So I'm gonna double click on it so that I'm in a layer. You can grab your rotor brush tool and then you can use the green brush to get those purple lines around your subject or you can hold alt and use the red brush to refine that edge and just trying to get the purple lines around what you're trying to isolate. Next, just move a couple of frames and Adobe picks up pretty quick what it is I'm trying to isolate. I only had to actually do the adjustments on one frame. If anything does mess up, you can add adjustments throughout. This looks great, so I'll go ahead and click the freeze button. And then once that's done, I'll switch back into the composition. I'll duplicate this clip and then I'm going to delete the rotor brush from the bottom clip and this will serve as our background. I'm going to go ahead and search for the shatter effect in After Effects and then apply that onto our rotoscope clip and then I'll hide the background to see what I'm doing here. You guys can pause the screen to copy any of these settings that I'm showing here. It's really just experimenting a bunch. Under physics, I'm going to lower the gravity. You can change your direction here, play with your velocity. I also set a keyframe for my radius here so that it would progressively um, start dissolving more parts of the face over time. You can grab those little anchor points to move the simulation where you want it to start. And then just, again, keyframe that radius so that it starts to disintegrate and shoot particles everywhere. Once I've done that, I'll add a small subtraction mask onto the background to cut away a small bit of the face. And then I'll animate to expand the mask, add a bit of feather as the particle radius grows. I'll duplicate that background, right click and freeze frame it, and then I'll just mask a tiny bit of the background, and then I'll place that layer beneath everything to fill that gap we created when we cut away the part of the face. You can go ahead and color correct this using curves or exposure or whatever so that your background matches as best as possible. And of course you wanna play with the mask feathering on all of your clips that have a mask so that everything blends together well. A nice way to create this sort of particle look even if you're not disintegrating thing, I think it's a cool sort of addition. So the last effect is more of a honorable mention. The future music video has a few scenes with rain on the glass, uh, whether this is real or done within After Effects. The GOAT, the grandfather of After Effects, Andrew Kramer, made this tutorial a couple of years back, showing an amazing way to create different rain textures and then use CC glass in After Effects. You have it work with the lightness in your clip and really create some, uh, really create a nice, rain on frosted glass look. I'll leave that tutorial down below. Uh, I don't think there's a point of me going through the steps. It does take around 20 minutes to do from scratch. You can either use that, or if you want to cheat, you can go to something like footage crate and search for a rain overlay, and then you can add blur, and you can mess with some of those settings to make it look a bit more realistic. And those are some easy tricks from the future, love you better, music video. Pretty simple while still giving you some really cool looking effects that you can mix in there with your videos. Tomorrow I'm recording 
a bunch of laser pointer 3D effects. I'll show you how to do it in Blender, which is free. I'll try and do it in After Effects with some free plugins as well. I think in 3D, it's just gonna look a lot better. So again, that'll be out in two days. If you guys don't use, if you guys don't use 3D, I'm gonna be dropping some overlay packs so you can just drag and drop and have laser pointers all over your subject. After that, I have a giant uh, video on some crazy new distortion effects that we're going to be talking about. So keep an eye open for that. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of this stuff that we're talking about. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.